Yeah, well, obviously it's welcome that the uh, census uh, is rescheduled, um, but I really have to ask the question, does the government play a blind bit of notice to the data that it gathers, uh, the critical, the important data, which allows us to plan, particularly in the area of uh, school provision? Because certainly judging from my uh, constituency, the government doesn't, or the Department of Education uh, doesn't. Uh, I mean, just to name a few of the, the schools, uh, all, uh, if you like, uh, you know, ex accepted as uh, patron school bodies uh, and uh, the numbers and so on that they will have to deal with, but none of them have uh, actual sites. Uh, Sally and I are going to educate together in a temporary site that's too small for them, no idea when their permanent site is, not quite sure if the temporary site they're going to be given will actually be uh, able to accommodate them. Gail Scott Line had to fight for years in order to get a permanent site but still in a temporary site uh, for the moment. Dun Leary educate together, finally got a, a site uh, after much campaigning, years of uh, campaigning but still in a, an unsatisfactory uh, temporary site. Buddhistown National School looking for to acquire a parish hall for an ASD class that is needed in the area can't get any kind of decision out of the Department of Education and then you get Clonkeen uh, School in uh, Dean's Grange where the government are allowing the Christian Brothers to sell off all of their playing fields to the detriment uh, of facilities needed by that uh, school uh, on land when we're, there's a, sh a clear shortage of sites uh, for schools uh, in the area. So it would appear we have all this data but it doesn't actually inform Form, planning when it comes to school provision, uh, certainly in my constituency, and indeed I suspect that's uh, uh, true right across the country.